Hey world. Well, I found something pretty interesting when solving a 4x4x4 Rubik's Cube. Um, and it involves the parity errors. So usually, so when you get to the end of a Rubik's Cube, sometimes you'll have this parity error, parity error, sorry, where these two corners need to be flipped, and this one requires the longest algorithm, which I find really annoying and I hate when I get there. So I found something interesting. I found a shortcut where you don't have to do that parity algorithm. All you have to do is when you get these two corners, usually after you've oriented the other corners, hold it so that a solved corner is in the bottom right hand, and then just do like you usually would for the last step of solving a 3x3, where you do up, away from you, up, inverted, away from you, up, towards you, up, inverted, towards you. And what that does is it gives you parity case number 4. So this way, whenever you have parity case number 1, which is the two corners across, you can just do that, and it'll give you the last one. So instead of having to learn the algorithm for parity case number one and four, you only have to learn parity case for number four, which is shorter and easier to remember. And instead of learning four different parity cases, uh, five different parity cases, you only have to learn four, which I find pretty useful and time saving. And uh, I just thought that was cool, and I thought I'd share that with you guys. So hope to help. Uh, if you not if you're not a hundred percent sure of what I mean, post a comment, and I'll try and explain it better. And uh, I just want to say thanks to Dan Brown for showing me how to solve Rubik's cubes. Because these things were a freaking mystery before this. And uh, yeah, that's it.